Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings and this is how to connect a music keyboard to your Android phone or tablet. This first method is the cheapest method and it uses a splitter cable. You're also going to need a 3.5mm stereo TRS audio cable and either some headphones or a second 3.5mm stereo TRS audio cable to connect to your amplifier. Here I'm connecting one end of this 3.5mm cable to my amplifier using the aux in socket. Then I'm going to take the other end of this cable and I'm going to connect it to the headphone socket on the splitter cable. And if you're using headphones, you'll connect the headphones to the headphone socket instead. Next, I'm going to take the other 3.5 millimeter cable and I'm going to connect it to the headphone socket on my keyboard. And the other end is going to connect to the microphone socket on the splitter cable. So now this is all connected up on my splitter cable. And I can now connect the splitter cable to the 3.5 millimeter headset socket on my Android phone. Now if I turn on my amplifier, you'll notice I've got no sound. And that's because we need some type of music software on our Android phone to connect everything up. And for this tutorial, I'm going to use BandLab. So I've installed BandLab onto my phone, and now I'm going to create a project in BandLab. And next I need to add a vocal track. So I'm going to click on the plus icon, and I'm going to click on voice mic. And now I've got a vocal track. But if I press the keys, I still got no sound. So I need to go to the bottom of the screen and click on the monitor mic, the monitor icon, and then we get sound. So I'm all ready now. If I want to record, all I need to do is press on the record button at the bottom of the screen and I can start playing the keys. Now, for the second method, we're going to use something more expensive but more professional because using a splitter cable means that you record in mono, which means the left and right stereo output from your keyboard is combined to one. So, for this method, we're going to use an audio interface, and here I've got a Zoom U22 and an OTG cable. So do make sure that your phone supports OTG. So first I'm going to take the USB cable from the audio interface and I'm going to plug that into the OTG cable. And then I'm going to plug the OTG cable into the USB port on my phone. And then after a few seconds, BandLab recognizes the audio interface has been connected. Next, I'm gonna take the 3.5 millimeter audio cable that I've got connected to my amp, and I'm gonna plug that into the headphone socket on the audio interface. If you're using headphones, then connect your headphones to the headphone socket on your audio interface. And if your audio interface has a quarter inch jack input, then you're going to need a 3.5 millimeter to quarter inch jack stereo adapter. Next, I'm gonna take the other cable, which is connected to the headphone socket of the keyboard. And I'm gonna plug that into the stereo line in 3.5 millimeter socket that I've got on this Zoom U22. Right, so 
So that's basically set up, but there's one or two things I need to do now. So first thing I need to do is to make sure I've got the direct monitor switched on on the audio interface and I turn off the monitor in BandLab. So at the bottom left of the vocal track screen, tap on the headset monitor to turn it off. And the reason for doing that is because when you're connected up with USB, the monitor in BandLab has lots and lots of lag, bad latency. When you press the keys, it'll be a bit of a delay before the sound comes out and that can make it really hard to play. But the direct monitor from the audio interface, basically the sound comes in and straight back out the output. So when you play the keyboard, the sound comes out pretty much immediately and that's much easier to play. So with that all set up, my amplifier turned on. I now have sound. And all I need to do in BandLab is to press on the red record button and I can start recording. Now, if your audio interface doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter stereo line input and has to mono jack inputs instead, then you can plug what is effectively guitar cables, but these are officially mono TS cables. You can plug two of those in, these jack cables, into your keyboard, assuming your keyboard's got jack inputs and then you can plug the other end of these cables into the mono inputs on your audio interface. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.